Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. I can't believe it's been all this time and I, the goose, have not yet done a video on Feathercoin? Anyway, I'm going to show you how to use Awesome Miner and Mining Pool Hub to mine Feathercoin. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is download a copy of Awesome Miner. I'll put a link down in the description. Just come over here and click on this top one here called Awesome Miner Installer. Download that and install it. The next step is to sign up with a new account on miningpoolhub.com. When you sign up, make sure you pick a username that's easy to remember um, because we'll type it in again later on, okay? The next thing you may consider doing is downloading a copy of the Feathercoin wallet. So if you go to the bottom of their page, there are a bunch of different links here for wallets. Uh, there's two for Windows, a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. So just grab the corresponding version, download it, and install it. All right, now let's get down to business. If this is your first time installing Awesome Miner, then it's going to pop up a bunch of different wizards. Just cancel out of all of those. I'll take you through all of the steps from here. Um, from this main screen, all we have to do is create a new miner, create a new pool for Feathercoin, and then we'll go over to Mining Pool Hub, set up our wallet, and we should be in good shape. All right, so the first thing is to click on this new miner button here in the top left, and this will give us the new miner wizard. We're going to go ahead and click on next. And there's really only two options that we're going to be concerned with here, managed miner or managed profit miner. The managed miner is one way to just mine a single coin. Um, I'm not going to use this one because it requires you to create a device profile. If we use the managed profit miner, then it automatically chooses the right software for your graphics card. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. Manage profit miner. Click on next. And then let's give it a name. I'm going to call mine Big Red because that's my computer name. Um, the miner host is local. That's fine. And for profit switching profile, just set this to whatever type of graphics card you have. I have a GTX 1080, so I'll set that to NVIDIA. Then click on Next. We'll confirm it. Everything looks good. Click on Finish. Now we just have to add the coin to Awesome Miner. So the way that works is you click this New Pool button up here, and we have couple of boxes that we have to fill in. The first one is the description, so I'll just call this Feathercoin-MPH, so I know it's at Mining Pool Hub. And then for the server URL, we're going to go back over to Mining Pool Hub. From the main page, on the left-hand side, there's a whole list of coins. So we'll just go here to Feathercoin, click this link. That gives us the main Feathercoin like news page. But what we want is underneath the help section called getting started. So just click that link and it gives us two very important pieces of information. The host, which is this address here, hub.miningpoolhub.com, and then the port number, 20510. So I'm just going to right click, copy this host address, come back over to Awesome Miner, and I'm going to type in stratum s-t-r-a-t-u-m plus t-c-p colon forward slash forward slash all right so we're just telling it the types of protocol we want to use and then i'm going to right click paste the address and then we're going to add the port number you put a colon and the port number is 20510 We'll put 20510. Right, let me minimize this. Now, worker name. Remember, I told you to pick an easy username on Mining Pool Hub. That's where you're going to type your Mining Pool Hub username. Okay, so mine is Goose Tech. And remember, this is case sensitive, so be very careful with how you type it in. And then put a dot and name your machine. I'm just going to call this 1080 because that's my GTX 1080. The worker password is X. And then underneath optional settings, you can put this to Feathercoin. So let's go up here and find NeoScript. There we go. Feathercoin FTC. 
The reason you set this coin here is so that Awesome Miner knows how to calculate the profit correctly. It downloads the information from whattomine.com, which has up-to-date statistics. Well, pretty up-to-date statistics and gives you a reasonably close accurate as uh, estimate as to what it is that you're going to be making per day. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. And one more step here is underneath options. So click on options and go to where it says profit switching. Click that link. And then um, we're going to enable managed profit switching. So put a little check mark here in this top box. Make sure the rest of these are unchecked. And then down here on custom pools, put a little check mark there. And then make sure you set this to feather coin. Mine's right at the top. Now I have a whole bunch of other coins in here, okay? And you can do the same thing. You can, you can just keep adding coins um, so that if you wanna change it, you can change it. But for right now, what we're doing is basically telling Awesome Miner, this is the only coin we wanna mine. So that's all, it won't profit switch or anything right now. It's just gonna do the one coin. So we'll go ahead and click on okay. And one last step is to set up our wallet over on mining pool hub. So I'm gonna go back to the site and you see where it says my account. There's a little link here for wallet, click that. And right here where it says pool account details, payment address. After you install your Feathercoin wallet, you'll get a wallet address. You wanna use the receive address. Copy your full address, put it right here where it says payment address, and then set your automatic payout threshold. All right, the, the minimum is 0.1. Uh, just keep in mind that you have a transaction fee of 0.01, so you have to figure out what's reasonable. Um, you, I'll leave that up to you. Uh, put in your four digit pin or your OTP code. If you don't know what that OTP code is, it's usually your Google um, Authenticator app. So I forgot once. <laughs> So that's what you got to do. Go to your Google app and put in the six digit code or whatever. Um, and then click on update account and it'll save your payment address, your threshold. And that way, whenever you reach your threshold, it'll automatically send the Feathercoin to your desktop wallet, which is much more secure. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you want to do something like auto exchange or whatever, then you don't even have to put a wallet address here. You put the wallet address to like whatever coin you chose for the auto exchange. So if you're exchanging everything for Litecoin, then the only wallet you have to set up on here is Litecoin, all right? Um, that's uh, just, a little bonus info. <laughs> All right, so now we've got our wallet set up and we've got our miner set up right here. We are ready to start mining. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on start. Okay guys, this is mining right now, but it's causing the video to stutter a lot. So let's take a look at some of the stats real quick. Uh, first off, about 850 kilohashes per second. That's around 69 cents a day. Probably not great for a GTX 1080. There are other coins that I could mine right now that would be more profitable. Um, you may consider, if you have AMD equipment, this is probably a better algorithm to use for AMD. So you might consider trying that. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell so that you get future updates. If you want to continue the conversation, come join us on our Discord server. I'll leave a link in the description. There's a lot of great people there who have come together to share mining tips and all that. So get involved. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless.